Hi, and welcome back, guys. Hope you're all having a fantastic weekend out there, having both a very safe but fun Memorial Day weekend. I got a quick video where I want to talk about several things here. I want to talk about how I believe we have a very bullish week ahead of us, some very key events that we want to keep an eye on, what to expect, but more importantly, I want to talk all things XRP. All I ever ask, guys, if you do like talking about XRP and Ripple, drop an X in the comment section, smash that like button, and share the video. Let others know what is truly happening in this digital revolution. So I want to start right here. First, XRP Drops puts out Standard Charter. And the very first video on Ripple's YouTube channel, which was back in September 2016, said, quote, once we set the standards of legal frameworks which is what's happening right now, then off we go and implement Ripple throughout our network. Standard Charter says we are close. Listen here. Once we set the standards and the legal frameworks, then off we go and implement Ripple throughout our network. And so this is so important to remember and understand, guys. I had a talk with an investor actually here today, an XRP investor saying, I've been in since 2021. I just want to know when the price is going to explode. And I said, although I don't have a crystal ball, what I can tell you is it's very obvious that the SEC and Ripple case has suppressed the price of XRP for a long time. I don't think it takes a rocket scientist to understand that. Now, we are getting close, probably about 60 to 90 days in my personal opinion from being completely done the judge giving us handing us a slap on the wrist so we can get that past us however guys what we are seeing now is bipartisan support regulation actually moving forward this is my personal opinion the single biggest thing holding the entire market back now we can take a look at the crypto cycle and see that it's been bitcoin season ethereum then comes large caps then comes alt season we've talked about that and we can talk about the chart until we're blue in the face because i think we all understand guys the chart is screaming moonshot we know we have a moonshot coming and many of the experts out there are showing us and telling us look it is the same exact chart that we see from back in 2017 when we sent the xrp price roaring. However, what's held us back is regulation. The banks want clarity. The banks want regulation. Once banks like Bank of America, who we know is partnered with Ripple, Standard Charter, who just spoke, who is partnered with Ripple, that is going to help them actually send this price soaring because they're going to want to use the utility. They're going to want to start hoarding XRP. I believe the hoarding of XRP, bring it on their balance sheet is what's going to send this price soaring. As we know, Bitcoin has a very bullish chart here itself. A massive Bitcoin breakout is coming, says Crypto Rover. And when we take a look at the key events we've had versus what we have coming, last week, initially, there seemed as though at the beginning of the week, there was no uh, chance of approval for Ethereum ETF. Within five days, we have a decent chance of approval leading to an approval. Now, Ethereum ETF is to start tra uh, trading next week. I believe that's going to start bringing a ton of capital, ton of liquidity to the market. It's going to help spark again that altcoin season, right? We are getting closer now because we have the ETH Ethereum ETF approval. Now, we've got politicians showing more pro crypto stances. We just saw Trump just yesterday essentially say he is making crypto part of his running power. He is using this as a weapon as Biden even, guys. Biden is flipping the script as well. That is what I believe is pushing Congress ahead. We are starting to see Democrats come out and flocks flooding in to take a pro crypto stance. Bitcoin activity, guys. Thousands of Bitcoins are being bought every single day by BlackRock and some of the biggest institutions out there. We've got record low amounts of Bitcoin on exchanges. We've got to keep watching inflows. We've got to keep watching economic data. We know that first we'll get the GDP revision on Thursday. And then Friday, guys, we'll have the PCE index. The Fed's preferred inflation gauge will take a very close look at that. I do believe tomorrow 
will be a slow day. The stock market will not be open. Of course, crypto can still rip, but there hasn't been a full decoupling effect. And generally speaking, the biggest moves happens when Wall Street has business open as well. So we're going to be watching very closely for a potential altcoin rally. We'll be looking at Bitcoin dominance trends. We'll also be taking a look at announcements of new ETFs. We're hearing potentially XRP ETF, Solana ETF. I do want to touch on that real quickly, guys, because I know some folks out there saying that XRP can not have an ETF. It's not a security. Look, US dollar, right, is a currency. It has an ETF. Oil, gold, silver, these are all commodities that do have ETFs. And so an ETF for Bitcoin and Ethereum, in my mind, is really just a big scheme in itself because it's a way that BlackRock can buy up the Bitcoin. They actually take custody. They hold the Bitcoin, right? But then they sell it for a fee to those out there that don't want the responsibility of buying it themselves. And so this is a way for the big institutions to hoard and bring in real assets, right? Digital assets. And that's exactly what's going to happen for XRP. Once that XRP ETF comes in or comes out rather, we're going to see big institutions buying XRP, putting it on its balance sheet, and then selling it to the public that doesn't want to get in traditional exchanges like what you and I and take custody of crypto themselves. Now, a company like companies like MicroStrategy and Meta, they continue to buy Bitcoin guys, Trump and Biden against showing a more favorable stance. And although we're not seeing a ton of retail action, guys, I believe we 100% will. As we see more institutions come in, big moves from institutions buying up and potentially sparking altcoin season, that is when you see a flood, a rush of retail investors. And so a very interesting week we have ahead of us. I believe Monday, tomorrow is going to be slow. Things might start warming up on Tuesday. We start getting hot on Wednesday. I don't love doing short-term projections, guys, but I do believe things are getting hot in the market. We're seeing a very pro-crypto stance from everyone out there. We hear Trump saying that he's going to be pushing Elizabeth Warren and her goons away from this market, and that is exactly what we need to get that positive sentiment going. Once we start getting altcoin season really rallied up, we start start seeing things like fit 21 bill being passed we get the sec out of our way we see banks hoarding xrp guys game over for the sec this price of xrp is absolutely going to explode in my personal opinion that's all i got for you for now please don't forget to turn on those notification bells we'll leave a pinned link below for our telegram team x come over it's free and we'll see you all in the next